So when we look at the Anu annual, the annual procession, the annual calculations, we look at the Anunnaki, Anan, the cloud, and the Kona winds of the winter, we understand the sign of Jonas, three days and three nights of the southern crossing of the big fish, the big kahuna, which is connected with this winter crossing into this month of January when we look at the satin area of the Tropic of Capricorn and Cancer of these twins of Janus we look at the two-face you have to understand Moon, the sunken continent, the Unigami pyramids, the ancient Anu people, the Negritos and the Sedan and Plate, the, Sedan and Plate, and the, the sunken continent of Lemuria we look at Mu, Lemuria, Miami, the sign of Jonas and this crossing of the Southern Pacific. When you look at the Judge River in January and the connection with this prime meridian, this line of the sunrise and sunset, crossing the sunset, the place where the sun died and rose, this completion, this wholeness of this location of Moot, um, the seas of the Yami, of the Pacific Ocean, 40 days. The 40 is significant. We understand the darkness and the measure of that darkness of 144 degrees. <clears throat> and how the night calculation and the ancient Anu, January Anu, annual. These short statue people you find uh, in the Philippines, in this area where the second continent of what they call Lemuria, Mu, this second continent, this is where the Pacific Ring of Fire, in this particular time of this gate, this gate of the gods, uh, to cross this prime meridian and to cross this line of the January. Tropic of Capricorn and into this gate into the new world the rise of the rising sun We said the world of the Sumerian is like an inverted plate in a salty ocean below the plate Lie the hill called the core by Sumerians Above the plate are arched roofs of the heaven the Shamayim the Rakia The whole system is embedded in a freshwater ocean. Rain comes with this freshwater ocean by opening doors. So when you look at the Kona, the Ka'ano, K-O-N-A, the Kona winds, the big kahuna, the big fish, and this crossing of this Pacific ring of fire, the waters. It says Anu is the divine personification of the sky. We understand the sky's connection with this winter crossing. The Anu was believed to be the supreme source of all authority of the gods, described in one text as the entire universe. So the primordial beginnings, the primordial order. And once the flood took place, these migrations of the Anu, these were medicine men that traveled according to the heavens. We understand the Nu and the Mim and in the Egyptian hieroglyphics, Nu is water. In Hebrew, Mem is water. So when we look at the forming of the 13th letter and the demonization of the woman and the hiding of the 13th letter, these things play significance when you understand the solstice and the twins of Janus from June into July during the time of the month of Tammuz and from December into January during the time of Christmas, Xmas, the Exodus, the Great Crossing, so the Atlantic and the Pacific, the Prime Meridian, Janice and Juno.
when we look at the C's, the Yami, H3220 H3 on the Hebrew, you'll notice that these C's here, the Yami, and understand why you find the Naga Serpent, the Naga, the Nahar, the El Nahar, the Judges, Naga, uh, the crossing. So understand that these deities were symbolized death, right? Who survived the Aryan conquest who were observed into the Hindu pantheon. Right, so we understand the seven tongues of Agni, the god of fire, and the Ushas. We look at the Yulamu, the ancient people of this region here of California. Um, you'll understand why when these crossings took place and they entered into these regions, all right, the sun, the dawning, a dawn, and the crossing of what place where the and the, the crossing that led over into right. the land of the degrees. So we understand the Yami you gotta understand and the crossing of the El Nahar. You have to understand the Asiatic black man. The, the so the month of Abib, which is during the time of Aries, from Pisces, you have to understand the polarity of Libra and the Virgo with Pisces and Aries and the crossing of these Moors and the winds. So the cold winds, we look at the cold winds, the winter winds of the Southern Pacific, going into Asia, the monsoons, this particular period of time for these travelers who came in these destructive wind patterns into the lands of Asia. We understand the monsoons, the mother suns, X mons, understand the X mons, and the Tiro, the mother, more. With mas more, mas means more in Spanish. So we understand the crossing of the masses, the fleets, the navigation of fleets across the Pacific from the Amazon. So since the renewal pyramid of atonement, which is during the time of uh, Virgo going into Libra, of the autumnal um, equinox which is a polarity with the spring equinox. These are the new year periods of the balance. This is the significance why we see the Libra and the Aries, the Libra scales um, being significant. We understand the measuring and the calculation that goes into timekeeping and recording of time, right? So the new year crossing into Libra, into this area of the door of the Virgo, entering the door of the Virgo, we understand the Janus, the Amazon, and January in this connection with uh, the Amazon region and with Jonah. When you look at Janus, Jonah, and the gates of the sunset, the death, the moot, and the crossing of death into life, as we see the Yule in this particular time of the winter solstice, the southern crossing. So when you look at the sign of Jonah, or the month of January, as we see Janus, the two heads, two face, you got to understand um, the tropics of the Capricorn, the tropic of Cancer, and how these tropics leave the Americas in this hidden land, in this darkness um, of the sunrise and sunset to leave this tent of the covering of the Great Mother. Uh, with some, as you see in the writings of Columbus, they called it the Virgin's Cape or the so once you cross the Virgin Islands in these particular areas, you have to understand the celestial revel revelance. So when we see the winter and the sign of Jonas, the three days and three nights, and the, the Xmas, you got to understand Xmas, the exodus, the exiting, the crossing of death into life. And this new beginning and this new restoration of this particular period. And why it's hidden it, because the renewal period of atonement. So when you look at the Rio de Janeiro in January, Amerigo Vespucci's discovering of America, January 1st, 1502, you have to understand the Amazon and the connection with the Amazon and uh, the great Madonna and the matriarchs and the crossing of the matrix of the metrics of the earth for the coronation process of kings. Now, when you look at uh, the sunset and sun rising of this great land of America, um, America was was binded. So you look at the beginning, so we talk about January, the Amazon, where you find the Rio de Janeiro, 
We understand that this region is the beginning of Virgo's March, the beginning of the atonement. So the turning of the new year, the first turning of the new year, when they interjected the calendar, creating uh, July and August, it messed up the calculation. So we understand Janice. You have to understand Jacob and the subplanter and the motion and the progression and how he took the blessing, the land from Esau, Asia, and these lands of India. And the, this this notion of the, the the doors, and also when you look at Tammuz in this time of Christmas from the summer to the winter, solstice, these twins, Gemini, Juno, Gemini, from the 33 degrees where we find the Nile Valley, the door to the Western Hemisphere. Easter. This is because at the spring equinox, the sun officially overpowers the evil darkness, as daytime thereafter becomes longer in duration than the night, and the revitalizing conditions of spring emerge. Right here, and it goes down to die in December, then it climbs back up again, and becomes victorious. June the 21st, the solstice, the longest day of the year, and then when the sun hits Capricorn, 